<laughs> but um, yeah, apparently watching. it was Dave Swindler's the, the season before, wasn't it, Phil? And he mm. just said, like, it was an acidic kind of wit. So he called me like Reggie Cray. I'm just glad it weren't Ronnie because uh, mm -hmm. I didn't <laughs> want to think I was like. Yeah. It did, I mean, the season didn't start ideally, did it? I mean, you're, you're playing up front with Tony Cotty for a start. Yeah. I noticed that. Um, well, Tony I didn't. I played. John actually brought me to play in midfield. Oh, right, okay. He, yeah. he built me down as okay. a midfield player. I played four years, or yeah, three and a half years in midfield at St Mirren. And then I was doing all right, but I wasn't getting headlines that strikers get. And uh, so I wanted to play up front so for the last year. But John bought me to play in the hole. Something I've been doing all my life, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's one of those situations. And, and I thought it was doing great. And people say, Paul got injured, Saz got injured on, mm. uh, on the first game. Yes, mm. Paul got out, yeah. I, I, mm. You know, who knows, we might have went on to win it because mm. Paul was such a great player that it might have worked, you know. It might have, it might have worked me playing in, mm. sitting deeper. I don't know, but it was it was great when. But it was it, it, <coughs> you you say at the beginning of the season, Jeff. Like, what, did we know it was coming? We were just yeah. speaking in there before. We yeah. had a pre-season. We had a game against oh, Leighton yeah. Orient, didn't we? Oh. At Brisbane Road. We used to play <coughs> every every year, didn't we? Away from home, and it was mm. a good crowd for Leighton Orient. And we lost three-one, and it could have been ten-one. <laughs> yeah. And like here we thought, here we go again. Defense Not another terrible. season. <laughs> Defence for once had a bad game. <laughs> anyway, we come in after the game, and we know we're going to get a bit of a. a a bollocking off of John so we come in the dressing room and we're all sitting in the dressing room like this like that blah 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 John comes in and he says right I'll sit down so he gets us all sitting down and just as he's about to speak this thug comes in from the ICF he must have been about <coughs> six foot four he's got tattoos all up his arm yeah. got, he swiped John out of the way and proceeded to take the team yeah. talk he said you're effing useless you're effing useless you, you let the effing club down you yeah. can't play why did you buy him he's pointing at him what you done with him what you done with him like that and we're all sitting there like that we're all petrified weren't we I thought it was and the director yeah. I didn't know who it was <laughs> I didn't know who it was and John John shit yeah. himself as well because yeah. uh, John in the end sort of placated him and sort of said look, look, look calm down pal like, got him out of the dressing room like that and John said he's right and he left <laughs> <laughs> The season itself, you know, to say it didn't start well, Frank, is an understatement, isn't it? Because I think yeah. you lost two of your first three. You lost against Birmingham, where we were going to go on to be relegated. Yeah. And against Luton, who you might have been playing for. Yeah. You know, do you think I've made the wrong decision at that stage? No, I, everything was coming coming well. I think I can't remember what game. Was it Luton? After the Luton game, we had a meeting, the boys. Yeah, we had, we had a meeting after the... Because we knew <coughs> we knew we'd make the makings of a great team. I mean, I, I, mean, I knew... Coming down, it was we were playing against great players, but the, the boys were not bad. These boys could play a bit, and after it was after Luton, we get beat. Yeah, I mean the essence of the meeting was that yeah. uh, Frank was running his cobblers off, and Tony was a lazy yeah. little git, wasn't he? You know, Tony <coughs> Cotty, you know, yeah. great friend of ours as well. But mm -hmm. what a great striker and a, a great taker of goals, but he wasn't pulling his weight defensively. And I don't think as well that he, he didn't score in the first half dozen games. No, that no, season, no, no, he didn't, Joe. And that, that, you know, yeah. don't get me wrong, Tony was probably one of our best all-time strikers, along yeah. with Frank, and probably the best partnership. But he wasn't doing it defensively, so. That's where we had a good set of lads, a good yeah. senior set of lads. We had the meeting, we had it without that John as well. Yeah. The management, yeah. We yeah. had it without John. We knew basically what the team was, and Tony was to pull away on the left hand side when we was defending, so that when we nicked yeah. the ball as well, we could attack down that yeah. way because Dev used to lay a bit deeper, mm -hmm. and Mark Ward used to push mm -hmm. on a little bit further down that right hand side, and it worked an yeah. absolute, treat. absolute treat. Tony got more space because of it. We had to convince him he was doing it for the best of the side, yeah, that he yeah. was attacking to get more goals. <laughs> yeah. He's a natural goal scorer, yeah. but it worked a treat. And we've done it ourselves yeah. that little bit. Mm. I mean, I know you guys about get together socially now, mm -hmm. but at, at the time, what were you like as, as a unit? Did you spend a lot of time <laughs> together? <laughs> well, we used to have the fair well, part. Talking about this part, one. A fair <laughs> part, talking to our part, social yeah. secretary. <laughs> 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 yeah, we used to, we, we, yeah. I'll tell you the story about, we, we'd go into, we always used to love to go to Guernsey at the end of the season too, you know, so, and, and we used to save up. So these lot used to play cards. Yeah. They, they'd have a win at cards or whatever. They'd take a few quid off. That's, Mostly off yeah. Frank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's the worst card player in the world. Yeah. And so they'd, he'd come and he'd have a, like yeah. he'd have like I don't know fifty quid or hundred quid, and he'd go, 
well, I don't want the missus to find out about that. So he said, here you go, put that in the Guernsey fund. And I, I set up a little bank account <laughs> in the, that where players used to give me money each week and we set it up. And I think, I mean, at the time, it's nothing, it's peanuts now. But at the time, I think I went into training at the end of the season. The TC put all his money away. I was I've got about nine and a half, ten grand in my briefcase, you know, <laughs> <laughs> going in to pay everybody yeah, out. Yeah. And it was basically... <coughs> a great, great social life we had, didn't we? Oh, we had, we had, yeah. the, we had we the did. few do's at the Apollo. We, could, we, we couldn't, the obviously, do's. like, he started getting a rep reputation, sop me cods over there, didn't <laughs> we? So it landed us all in trouble with yeah, the wives, yeah. you know, so if we were going out, we couldn't say you we were going out with him. to make sure I wasn't there. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, you, you could have put some money into this fund, couldn't you, from you know your hairspray contract? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you, you want to just find out about this, haven't yeah. you? But that was from... I think it was in the mid-70s yeah, when I was at QPR and uh, and I, I really used to get the piss taken about me after the, the airspray advert came on the telly. It was Cossa. It was men's, men's <laughs> airspray. Let's, let's, be, yeah. let's be sure about it. It's not, nothing to do with harmony or anything. But, but um, So they came and I did the advert and uh, it was an offer. And I always used to get the PT down the older place. And, and the one thing I do remember was um, going up to Man United. We were playing up there and the whole of the, the Stratford end in unison as you come out, you go on, uh, up to there. I think it was changed around half time, gone up to there. And they all saying, you can stick your fucking Cossack up your ass. And it was, br <laughs> and I, I, you know, I think, well, at least they've seen it. Yeah. You know, I think, yeah. Good brand awareness, yeah. I think they say. Yeah. 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 But, but it, it was just something, and like Tony will probably tell you the story about that, I, you know, Pete taking at me all the time. And then someone, he said to me, he says, well, you know, and he was one of the biggest instigators. This, you know, with the, with the Reggie, he'd take the pee out of me. And then one day he said, "Well, how much did you get for that thing anyway?" You know, and I said, "Well, I said, if I tell you that the advert uh, lasted 30 seconds, it took a day and a half to film it, and uh, I earned probably two thirds of a year's wages." And he went, "Oh, okay." <laughs> sort of like walked away and went, you know, like he, he shut him up straight away, and it was an amazing. Uh, it's great air spray, Jeff, because yeah. his, hair, his hair hasn't moved since. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we will talk about that in a moment, but, but when did you feel, Frank, then? When, when did you first begin to feel, you know, the trappings of celebrity, if you like, in London? <laughs> when I went on Wogan. Yeah. I went, I went on Wogan on Friday night, John says I could, I could go on, and, and I went on to do the Wogan show, and there was, I don't know, there were millions, but 19 million people watching it or something. And nobody knew what I looked like. So I went on the Wogan show on the Friday night, played on the Saturday. I was out on the Saturday night, Stringfellas, and they come in and they say, uh, oh, all the press are outside waiting you. And I oh. says, what are they waiting me for? And the girl says something about Wogan last night. And then just all of a sudden, everyone knew what I looked like. You know, out with the sports media. And they were just hounding me. And it was uh, it was quite good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed all that. I mean, you they got, they got me in a, got us in a few clubs. Uh, yeah, team, didn't they? Well, of course you do. You get a table and all that at a rest, <laughs> decent restaurants. It was all right. I enjoyed all that kind of thing. Yeah. But it was, it was good, you know. But you had to do it in a part, Jeff. And it was, you know, people, people have a laugh and all that. But these boys wouldn't have let me uh, let me do anything if I didn't produce on the park. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of them. But, but I mean, it wasn't going that well on the part, was it? I mean, I noticed that, you know, mid-September, Tony, I think you're 17th in, in the table. Manchester United have won their first 10 games on the bounce. What were you thinking of at, at that stage? Do you think this is going to be a relegation struggle? No, we thought it was coming together, <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. We thought it was coming together. And then I think we embarked on a, what still stands as a record run for the club. Mm. Uh, I think there's a few records set in the season. Yeah. The least 18. amount of goals conceded in a season. And it was also, games or something. Uh, yeah, we went on some crazy run where yeah. we got, but we didn't just draw. We won a lot of, games. A lot of games, and of course, three points for a win. Mm -hmm. Bosh! It, it took us flying yeah. up the league, and you know, just confidence rose. And we 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 were a good football inside. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I when I went to Blackburn, mm -hmm. I always say to the boys, I always say like they won the league when I was in the squad at Blackburn there. But I think we had a better team then than the team that Blackburn mm -hmm. had that won the league. That's how that's how much I enjoyed my football at West Ham at the time. Not only was we winning, but we was winning. I think if it did a bit of John Lyle, if it a, a little bit earlier, we'd have won the league yeah. pretty easily. And apart from that, I think naivety came in. It. We went for the cups. We went for all the cups, and you know we, we wanted we did four replays against Ipswich. Yeah, Come against we got stuck in it, and then we had another one against Sheffield Wednesday, yeah, didn't we? And, was, uh, pretty, and then, yeah. then we had a little bit of a cold spell, didn't we? We had yeah. a few games called off. Yeah, yeah there was, it was a very, very that cold was, winter that, that time, and, and a lot of games back called off, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah we, we didn't play in the league for something like about six weeks or something. Silly. Mm -hmm. I think. Silly. I think, uh, like Phil said, we lost. Did you say we lost ten games that year? We lost mm -hmm. ten games. Yeah. But 
we won a hell of a lot of games. I'm not sure what the record was, Jeff, uh, but we won a lot of games and we ended up with 84 points. And I don't know what winning totals are now, but 84 points on the table and we lost 10 games. Yeah. You know, it was well, I, th I think previously, the previous years, uh, it would have won it the year before and possibly yeah. the year before that, the 84 yeah. points. Mm. You know, so it, it was just.